Nathaniel Lake Jr. with the firm of Brannon LLC. We are a human resources and organizational development company. Today we're going to talk about how to motivate your manager. Now you can look at this from two different directions. You can look at it from the boss of the organization asking the question about how do I motivate my managers to do their job? Or you can look at it from a managing up perspective, from the employee's perspective, who feels that their manager may need a little kick in the rump to get things going. Well, let's talk about this. From a manager's, from the boss's perspective, it is the boss's responsibility to make sure that the managers have all the tools necessary to get their job done. The boss needs to be supportive of the manager. If the manager is not getting the things done that are required to get done, the boss needs to let them know that. So typically we talk about performance management and performance management is actually having a conversation with your boss, identifying what your goals and objectives are, having some accountability measures to get those things done and having a conversation to see if those things are actually happening. Now from the perspective of the manager, him or herself, and the employees that report to them, this is something that for an employee, if they feel their manager is not getting done what they should be getting done, they need to assess the situation. What is really going on? What is happening? Is the manager getting in the way of the employee getting their job done? So if the employee feels that this is something that is negative, they need to determine if they can go and talk to their boss. All employees can't do that. But if you feel comfortable in being able to have that kind of relationship with your boss, I would say sit down with your boss and have that discussion. Do your homework first and make sure that the manager, you know, has the information that's necessary to get the job done. Go to your manager and ask, how can I help? Try to walk a mile in your manager's shoes. Some things that you think may not be happening or going on in support of yourself. Your boss or your manager may be in the situation of having a lot of different balls that they have to juggle. Also, be supportive of your manager. Again, he or she has five, six, or seven, or a lot other employees reporting to them, and so you may not be getting the attention that you think you need, but he or she is dividing up his or her time. But the main thing for you as an individual, make sure that you are doing your job. Hopefully you have goals and objectives that your boss and manager has given to you. And then at the end of the evaluation period, you can sit down with your manager and have a frank discussion about how things are going. This is Nathaniel Lake Jr. And we just spoke about how to motivate your manager.